Well, this weather may be a bust for the annual Flag City Balloon Fest this weekend. 13 ABC Senna or a live from Emory Adams Park with what's happening tonight. Senna? Well, safety is the number one priority here. The hot air balloon flights are grounded and have been grounded since yesterday's opening day because of this stormy weather. In fact, the hot air balloons are not even displayed right now on the field. But there are plenty of food vendors and music for those who decided to brave the elements and keep them entertained. Now, this is the 17th year for the Flag City Balloon Fest, one of the largest of its kind in the state. Now, 46 hot air balloons were set to decorate the sky. The three day event usually draws tens of thousands of visitors, but organizers say only a third of their usual crowd came out so far. Of course, we're disappointed that the, the balloons didn't get up and the crowds were less than usual. Uh, my interaction with the sponsors so far has been very positive. They understand the weather is something we can't control, and all indications are they're coming back next year. Now, this festival runs through tomorrow morning. We are told the balloon flight is so far scheduled for 7 o'clock in the morning, but of course, that's on standby pending, pending the weather outlook. Reporting live in Finley, Senna Ora, 13 ABC Action News. Well, that stormy heavy rain today did a number on the Flag City Balloon Fest this weekend. Day two, and not one hot air balloon has taken flight yet. Tomorrow, the last chance, or the weekend, is a total washout. Once again, 13 ABC Santa Aura with the frustration of it all. The constant rain and winds grounded all hot air balloon flights at Emory Adams Park. They're not even on display anymore. I'm disappointed, but we know it, it, it's a gamble, you know, with the weather anytime. I don't think we've ever had a total washout, but we've had where we've lost a day. But this weekend will be a total washout, as opposed to last year. Every flight happened. Last summer's Flag City Balloon Fest was picture perfect. Dozens of balloons decorated the sky. Organizers and vendors this year are seeing a much smaller crowd. We're about one third of the crowd. Uh, normally we get about 15,000 people on here each, each of two nights. This three day event brings in visitors from many states, and it's something balloon pilots like Tom Eisman from Indiana look forward to. What people don't catch on to a lot of times is these are competitions too and they're competitions for accuracy so a pilot gets to hone their skills they get to compete against somebody else and um, it's kind of a fun event because it's very social and um, I, I'm gonna miss that this week but we've had a lot of fun the largest crowd we spotted Saturday night was inside the live music tent and this Finley High School senior braved the elements to receive his Flag City Balloon Fest scholarship for a thousand dollars I'm very happy to receive the scholarship it will definitely uh, help to support my college education that was Senna Aura reporting. Sunday's 7 a.m. flight is on standby. It'll likely be decided about a half hour prior.